Baby Ella has completed this family and brought these two friends even closer together. Laura's always been part of my extended family. Yeah. But it feels like our two families now are forever. Forever linked. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Emma and Laura have been friends since school and were each other's bridesmaids. But just months after Emma's wedding, she was told she had breast cancer and that the treatment would affect her fertility. She froze her embryos and realised surrogacy was her only option. When her and her husband began to look for someone to carry their child, her best friend gave the couple an unexpected offer. So I just said, well, I'll try for you, if you like. She just dropped that bombshell in. <laughs> and they you? both went, what? How did you come to that decision? I thought, well, what have I got to lose? Um, obviously, they've got everything to gain. She's my best friend. How what was your reaction? Um, well, I think shock and disbelief <laughs> is probably an understatement at that stage, but the fact that she would even give us that chance or that opportunity yeah. to have a family. Yeah. It was the fact that she would even try. Doctors warned the chances of a successful pregnancy were low, but against the odds, Laura got pregnant. Do you remember what you thought when I first sent you the photo of the test? Do you know, I remember it pinging up. Yeah. And almost, for about two seconds, not wanting to open it. Then we opened it and... It was amazing. It. That was it, wasn't it? Wasn't it? All the tears, magical. all the tears. And I know every baby's a miracle, but it just feels that, you she know, is. she's gone from a little a little cell yeah. in a little test tube yeah. to in a freezer, and now she's a, you know, she's a perfect baby. So it yeah. just feels like the whole journey feels totally miraculous. And all the while, little Ella is blissfully unaware of the happiness she's brought to those around her. Ellie Pitt, ITV News, Birmingham.